In a collaborative effort, Chinese and Pakistani leaders envisioned a scenario where a positive economic turnaround would tackle the numerous challenges plaguing the country. The expectation was that increased employment rates, occasioned by a booming economy, would mitigate crime and terrorism. China also hoped that by alleviating adversities in Pakistan, it would, in turn, gain access to Pakistani ports, a strategically significant endeavor for China. You should know that Pakistan shares its northeastern border with China. China has its eyes on some strategic ports to the southeast. Why? Well, gaining access to these Pakistani ports would shave off a whopping 12,000 kilometers from the journey for ships sailing westward from China, as we shall see later. That's like finding the express lane to international markets for China's trade. So, what did China do to ride on this great opportunity? In 2015, President Xi made his first state visit to Pakistan. In his meeting with the then Pakistani Prime Minister, Nawaz Sharif, dozens of envisioned high-profile projects were unveiled, totaling a staggering $62 billion. The projects covered key economic areas, including energy, transportation, and water. The collective initiative came to be known as the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPEC. At the forefront of China's endeavors in Pakistan is the comprehensive development of Gwadar Port and its surroundings. This strategic initiative holds paramount importance as it grants China swift access to the Gulf of Oman, a crucial route for its oil imports from Iran, Saudi Arabia, and Kuwait. Leveraging Pakistan as a land bridge, China also utilizes this route for shipping goods to the Middle East and Europe. China has invested $300 million to establish port-free zones spanning 61 acres and initiated the Pak-China Technical and Vocational Institute in Gwadar with a budget of $10 million. The latter aims to enhance the skills of Gwadar's active population, enabling them to actively contribute to the growth of the port city. As part of this transformative project, a 19-kilometer East Bay Expressway has been constructed serving as the main artery for the flow of traffic from Gwadar port. This expressway ensures seamless connectivity between the port and its free zone with the National Highway Network, a move that has facilitated efficient transportation of import, export, and transit goods. Additionally, China is constructing an airport near Gwadar port, capable of accommodating various aircraft, including ATR-72, Airbus, A300, Boeing, B737, and Boeing, B747, catering to both domestic and international routes. <laughs> Beyond transportation infrastructure, China's commitment extends to critical amenities for Gwadar's development. The construction of a water desalination plant was designed to address the region's freshwater needs, while the proposed Pak China Friendship Hospital goes to show China's dedication to enhancing healthcare services in the area. In essence, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor Development Projects at the Gwadar Port Region signify a holistic approach to economic and infrastructural advancement, strategically positioning the seaport region for sustained growth. Energy sources have also not been forgotten. China has made substantial strides in transforming Pakistan from a once dimly lit state to a vibrant and well-illuminated country. Today, efforts in reviving the energy sector have seen CPEC add over 8,000 megawatts to the grid. China, through several Chinese-owned companies, has managed to build coal plants, hydroelectric power, and expansive solar and wind farms. This comprehensive approach has not only contributed to a brighter and more lively Pakistan, but has also been instrumental in job creation, both during the construction phase and in the aftermath, as electricity accessibility expands to nearly every corner of the country. The Chinese have not put aside what they know how to do best while in this country, that is, road construction. The rundown road network in Pakistan was in dire need of an overhaul. According to official reports from both China and Pakistan, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor has successfully constructed over 1,400 kilometers of highways and roads in just under a decade. This has resulted in the country now boasting cutting-edge road networks that have hugely improved transportation efficiency.
The transformative impact of CPEC extends beyond roads. There are ongoing discussions and plans regarding the construction of a railway connecting China and Gwadar port in Pakistan. This proposed railway, an integral part of CPEC, aspires to establish a comprehensive transportation corridor linking Gwadar port with China's northwestern region. The envisioned result is a seamless movement of goods to and from China through the port, solidifying it as a gateway for China to the rest of the world. We can also not fail to mention other notable infrastructure projects like the 27-kilometer Lahore Orange Line Metro train, traveling on an elevated viaduct and serving 26 stations along the way. And what about the country's communication infrastructure? In a bid to boost communication, CPEC, with support from Huawei, a prominent Chinese tech company, has implemented an extensive fiber optic cable spanning a total area of 820 kilometers. This ambitious project is poised to breathe new life into Pakistan's telecom and ICT industry, serving as a catalyst for the promotion of tourism and the creation of trading opportunities in the northern regions of the country. Another strategic area under CPEC's focus was the development of special economic zones. The CPEC, with the intent of promoting economic growth, attracting foreign direct investment, FDI, and boosting Pakistani exports, has established more than a dozen special economic zones across the country. The move has been a huge success in generating much-needed jobs for the youth. Anticipations are high that the completion of CPEC will usher in a meaningful surge in foreign direct investments for Pakistan, driven by increased industrial activity, assured energy supply, and fortified infrastructure. So what value can we expect Pakistani people to draw from these massive investments? The infrastructure partnership between China and Pakistan is hugely hailed in Pakistan and China, as it is a win-win cooperation between the nations. It has seen a trade surge between China and Pakistan in the period between its initiation to today. Pakistan is currently exporting more metals to China than to traditionally large trading partners like the USA and Japan. To give you an example, in 2014, Pakistan exported under $50 million in copper to China. In 2020, that figure topped $410 million. Simultaneously, Pakistani imports of machinery and technology from China have witnessed a substantial increase, reflecting the deepening ties and economic synergies between the two countries. With all this, and as expected, the West has not failed to pick holes in this China-Pakistani relationship. The West, over and again has pointed out the possibility of a debt trap suggesting that Pakistan may struggle to repay the loans extended under the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, CPC. Ironically, as these critiques echo, the tangible contributions from the West to Pakistan remain conspicuously absent. The loud and negative talk surrounding CPEC emanating from the West appears to be soaked in political motivations rather than grounded in any substantial reality. On the flip side, the citizens of Pakistan have nothing but a positive view of CPEC. A poll conducted recently indicates that the majority of people in Pakistan regard China as a friend. An overwhelming 85% of the polled sample revealed something that shocked the West. They insisted that things have turned out for the better ever since the Chinese entered the country. This unexpected wave of positivity challenges the Western perspective and reveals a stark contrast between the perceptions of the local populace and the skepticism propagated from afar. Formerly serving as the Minister of Planning, Development and Special Initiatives, Asan Iqbal emphasized his people's sentiment, stating, Typically, nations draw closer out of necessity and drift apart when that need diminishes. However, in the case of China and Pakistan, it has perpetually been akin to spring. This relationship has never experienced a season of autumn. In its entirety, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPC, has left an indelible mark on Pakistan, fundamentally transforming its landscape. This monumental initiative has contributed to overcoming the energy crisis, fostering the creation of contemporary infrastructure, and reinstating the country's image as an attractive investment destination. Without the projects initiated under the CPEC umbrella, Pakistan would be grappling with an acute energy crisis today. Before CPEC, 
Pakistan was viewed with apprehension globally, primarily due to recurrent terrorist attacks. But now, the story has changed. A promising future awaits both Pakistan and China, contingent on Pakistan effectively addressing the security situation within the country.